Every Sunday morning, my mom would take me to church. And every Sunday morning, mom would tell me, you better behave. And I'm sure every Sunday morning that I would tell her, yes, ma'am. Because you didn't want to tell my mom, no, I'm not going to behave, especially at church. So this one particular Sunday, we drive up, and as usual, mom tells me, you better behave. And as usual, yes, ma'am. But we get in church, and as church went along, the preacher started preaching, and then my eye caught this kid across the center, the center aisle. And at that time, we, started, we got into a cowboy shootout in church while the preacher was preaching. I felt my mom's hand lay on my leg. Then I hear her whisper, I'm going to tear you up. And I knew that at that moment that I was in trouble. I was in serious trouble because out of the corner of my eye, I saw my mom's face morph like three or four times. And when we left church, she stopped at the grocery store. And I thought, okay, well, here's my chance that I can be good in the grocery store. And that will outweigh me being bad in church. So we go in the grocery store and I push the buggy. I get this, I get that. And then we get home and I help her do this, I help her do that. And then I turn around and look at my mom. And she tells me, go get me a switch. So I go out and I find the flimsiest switch I can in hopes that when she pulled it back, that it would break. So she laid it on the table and she went out and got her own switch. Now in my young eyes, it looked like a tree. <clears throat> now my mom had a PhD in butt spanking. My dad was terror with the belt or a switch, but mom would make you wish you were dead. And she had butt spanking down to an art. She could pull it back and put a bow in it, and when it strikes your butt, it sounded like a bull whip. Now see, the reason I brought this up is because one day we're gonna stand before God, and it's not gonna matter one bit how good we were. Goodness won't get you into heaven. Paul writes, <clears throat> it's by grace, through faith, we are saved. And it's not of yourself. There's nothing we can do on our part except believe in Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ was the Son of God and that He died and He was risen. Goodness will not get us into heaven. And when we stand before God, He's either going to pat that, pat that back or spank that butt. He'll pat that back and say, Well done, thy good and faithful servant or he'll spank that butt and we'll hear, depart from me, I never knew you, and be cast into the lake of fires that are meant for his devils and his angels. Which one do you want to hear? And are you satisfied with what you will hear? It's not too late. Now we thank y'all for watching. And as always, remember, keep reading, keep believing, and keep the faith.